I'm gonna try to build an entire Sims house without using a single item from the base game. This basically goes against everything that I usually try to do. First of all, the base game has a lot more useful stuff than you realize, but also most times I'll build a house and then feel really guilty about how many packs it has. But today we kind of have to do the opposite because I'm not gonna let myself use anything from the base game. I don't really know how this is gonna go and I feel like it's probably gonna be a lot harder than we think. So we're gonna need to go into this with a plan and I'm thinking that we might build it in Sulani because this world is very unique compared to the base game ones. Building it on the water I think is gonna make it easier to use less base game stuff. Plus we won't have any yard to have to landscape and that's something I was kind of worried about because the base game bushes are kind of staples to me with landscaping. We are gonna have to set some ground rules because obviously things like walls and roofs these are all base game but I can't exactly not use these. So the necessary build features, things like walls, roofs, platforms even, those are fine. We just aren't allowed to use base game furniture or wallpapers, more so base game items as opposed to like full base game features. I haven't really thought about what I want this to look like yet. I've kind of mostly just been thinking about what I don't want it to look like. So we have to start trying to figure out a plan. And oh my god, I forgot about the foundations. I was gonna use one of these but these are base game. We do have a stilted foundation that's from Snowy Escape, so we could probably use that one, and then it kind of has similar vibes. I don't know if the wood colors are gonna match with the island living stuff, so we're gonna have to figure that out. A lot of the houses that come in this world kind of have a roof similar to this shape, so maybe I'll try and do that here. This actually looks kind of bad, doesn't it? I don't really know what I want this to look like. That's, that's horrible. I'm sorry. Don't, please, please disregard everything I just did. Let's start over. Or, I mean, I guess it could could maybe just be smaller, I don't know. The houses that exist by default with this sort of roof shape are usually facing this way. <laughs> and that actually looks better, I must say. So we'll use the island living roof trims. I really do like this roof texture. It's so nice how it carries under the underside of the roof, which seems like a silly thing to point out, but like most of the game does not have that. The bar with the roof textures in The Sims is actually really low. <laughs> I really dislike most of them. I really like these little dormers that we can add in, so I'll probably do those there. And then we'll want to get a decent sized front porch. And then in the back, I think I'd like to have a big back porch. It might also be kind of cool. I don't know how easily I can do this, but it might be a sort of fun touch if we had a dock that came off the build, and then we could put a boat here by the dock somehow. See, this is where the problems kind of start to come in, because I sit here thinking like, oh, this will be fine, we've got so many options, but then like, the swatches don't really match. This column and then this foundation from Snowy Escape have similar vibes, but they're definitely not the same. Oh, is that orange really ugly, or is it kind of cool? I think it's actually maybe kind of cool. I like these columns around the edge of the house too, I feel like that adds something nice to it. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever known Notice this corbel before? That's kind of cool looking. Oh my goodness. See, maybe this is for the best. I'm like forcing myself to discover some new items. I will say I am not really feeling 100% sure about this fence, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, good. That's really good. There's a glitch happening right now where you can't see the stair railing. So that's super cool and fun. Maybe I'll just have no fence down here then. We don't need to have a fence on the dock, right? Um, this is all quite bland. <laughs> Looking at this right now, I am not impressed. <laughs> I don't know what to do instead. Okay, I like this swatch a little bit better. It's still sort of orangey, but it's like an orange toned wood instead. And then it also mixes in some different wood tones, which I think I kind of need because right now it's not, it's just not working. I put the white wallpaper there kind of as a placeholder at first, but it's growing on me. I'm gonna move inside for a second and start thinking about the floor plan before I put all the rest of the windows in. And I am realizing now that I can't use this light. <laughs> I put this light everywhere in my builds. I can't even use that. We have to use pack lights. All of the lights that I pick our base game. I guess I'll just put a whole bunch of these for a second. I like to put lights everywhere so I can see what I'm doing. Um, that looks bad, so don't worry. I'll change it. Okay, so here's kind of what I'm thinking right now so far. Basically, it's like two bedrooms. This one can be an ensuite bathroom. I'll want to find space for another bathroom somewhere. Unless... 
I guess I could have this room be like long and skinny and the bathroom could go there. That's probably fine. And then you enter into like one big open living kitchen dining room. I haven't really used this archway very much. So maybe I'll try and use that here too. It's actually really pretty. I, I like it a lot. Oh, and thankfully these seasons doors kind of match the color scheme we've got going on with that like weird orange toned wood. I'm sorry for being mean to it. It's just, this is like my least favorite wood color. And yet for some reason I keep using it in this build. We do have some beautiful hardwood floors that I can put outside. So I'll put this like darker color on the deck and I guess I'll try and use this stone in the bathroom. Should I try and use the stone in the kitchen too? I don't know. I thought it might be cool, but this is a weird shaped room. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Well, this is the living room then. So I'll get an extra window there. I could probably use an extra window in this bedroom. And then we have the big glass sliding door here. Maybe I'll get a small window in the bathroom. Why do the colors not match? Do you like actually not come in the same swatches? Really? Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just use this one. It's a different color, but that's fine. Currently, it feels very dark inside and that's kind of bothering me, but I don't know what I could do about that because the lights I want to use, I can't. <laughs> so that's no good. I'm just so used to having these big bright lights everywhere. Well, I guess they're small. <laughs> they're small bright lights, but I use them all over the place. We do have some beautiful island living kitchen counters, so I think I'll probably use them here. Oh no. <laughs> I don't really like how they look. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna fix it. The thing is, chat, this is not really like the fault of the challenge that this build is turning out not so good. It, it's more like user error. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the challenge's fault. It's my fault that this is not good. Like I can't even really blame the lack of base game. This is this is like fully on me. Okay, fridge situation I did not really plan for. I think I have to use the jungle adventure ones. I really do like these jungle adventure appliances and it's kind of cool because we can get maybe like a fun color on them. Sink. I have no idea what to do about. <laughs> I usually use this sink, but we can't. Ooh, we could do like an orange. I hadn't really thought about that. That might be kind of nice. Or, I mean, we could try and mix in a, an accent color. This one's cool because it's kind of oceany. I guess any sink that has like a stainless steel is probably gonna be fine. I'm gonna put three little lights above the island. And then I would also really like to get some cabinets. Unfortunately, we don't have cabinets. <laughs> we just have these shelves and that's okay. I think it looks kind of cool still. I will probably use the island living beds because they've just got so many cute options. I'm not really obsessed with this table though. I don't really think I like it. I might use the horse ranch one because horse ranch has the same shape. It's like a big round table, but instead of it being black, it's all wood. Doesn't really match. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is good or not. So we'll have to see. I could try it. Oh, never mind. That's base game. <laughs> oh, dang it. I was like, oh, this chair is gonna be kind of cute because it matches. No, no, you can't use that chair, Kayla. I'm sorry. Well, this chair might be fine. That kind of has that minty color we've been using. So I'll get a little dining table here. I'll put the pretty lights above it. This is kind of tight. Um, I don't, I think your sim can still get through there. <laughs> it might not be very easy for them to get through, but they, they should be able to. Every single bookcase I want to use is, is base game. Um, I don't think that this mid-century one really makes that much sense, but we could probably try that. I like that little flower on the table. I think some hanging plants would probably do us some good. I kind of like that there. Ooh, this leaf painting. I think that comes, yeah, it comes in a kind of cool swatch. That honestly, I think matches really well. It still seems quite dark in here to me. <laughs> I'm still not really loving this. The lamps don't do anything. I put a lamp on the table and it barely makes a difference. Look who came to say hello to the video. Hi, Sunny. I probably shouldn't lift her up because now she's gonna wanna be on my desk, <laughs> which is very nice. It's very cute when she hangs out. It's just, it's just that I can't really do much when she's like trying to follow my cursor on the monitor because I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, maybe I could use this light, but size it down quite small because that's similar to the base game one, but you know, not base game. So I guess that works. It makes it bright in here. My first thought was that I could use that one base game tile I like. I was like, oh, we could try this one. No, <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> not today. I'm not sure if using a tile color is a good idea or not. I don't know if it's going to be too much. I like how it looks, I think, but also is it like too bold? So much of the wall decor that I want to use is base game too. I was like, oh, we could put a pride flag. No, <laughs> it's base game. We can't even do that. Okay. Well, I'll put this little thing on the wall. That's cute. And then 
And last, I might get a couple pet bowls and we could also use a trash can. Thankfully, some of the not base game trash cans are actually kind of cute. Like that one looks kind of good in here. I need to remember that more often because it looks just like a cute little bin, but it's actually a trash can. So you can use it almost decoratively if you want to and then still have your Sims get some use out of it. I think I'll put a fruit bowl on the counter, but then not put too much else because I'm worried about functionality. I think we need to make sure that, oh, oh, that island was in the wrong place. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably been really bothering you. I didn't notice. Okay, well, I'll just put a fruit bowl and then have this counter be functional. Uh, okay, wallpaper is a little harder than I thought too. <laughs> I don't know what to use. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards just something kind of plain for most of the wallpaper. I sort of like this one. It's just like a plain white. And then this is the fully finished kitchen and dining room, I think. So we'll move on from there into the bathroom. I don't really know how I want to do this because I usually just use this toilet, but we can't. There are a couple cute options of non-base game toilets. We could get like a fancy one with a bidet. Oh, you know what's so annoying? This toilet, this is a base game toilet, but if you have island living, they added some swatches to it that match the island living stuff. I don't think I should be allowed to use that because it's still a base game toilet. Oh, you know what I could do instead is use the jungle adventure items because those are so pretty. It also fits this like kind of tropical vibe that we're going for. All right, so here's what I've got for the back. Bathroom. It's quite simple and small, but it's functional. That was a little bit easier than I thought, and I also didn't feel bad using this toilet paper roll. I really like this one, but I always use the base game one instead because, like, why use a pack item when there's like a very easy, usable base game one next to it? Even when I wanted to have like a different swatch, but this time I got to use it. So, moving on into the kids' bedroom, I like the idea of doing kind of a fun, bright color scheme in here. I want to use both the beds too. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more lights in this room. Is there a pink and blue mix. Oh, that's so good. Okay, this wallpaper is gonna work perfectly actually. So I'll use that on the walls. We have a nightstand. I don't really know if I want to use the desk in here. I guess I probably should because it would be nice if we had a computer. Kind of worried about this room being too full, but we'll see what we can do. I could use this cute pink heart chair and then we have this kind of cute blue laptop computer. I'm gonna look some more at that pastel pop kit because I feel like this is gonna work really well for the style that I'm going for. Oh, I wish I could size down this thing. I really like it, but it's just a little too big. And when you size down mirrors, it like totally breaks. So you can't do it. Oh, maybe we could do something like this because we could get some cute pictures on the wall. That also kind of helps sell it as a kid's room. And then maybe I could try and get them a toy somehow. All of the teddy bears I want to use are base game. I was like, oh, we could do the unicorn. No, <laughs> we could do the bunny. No, maybe, maybe I'll do this cat one. Or I guess the dog, doesn't the dog have like a pink swatch? Yeah, that'll be better. Okay, they can have that then. Here's an interesting interesting idea. This is quite big, but it also has a lot of really fun colors on it. So that might be cute to put on the wall. I'll use this pink cork board and then maybe, maybe the kids room could be done. I don't know if we need to add too much else in there. Oh, this green color is beautiful. I don't think I've ever used that swatch before. I don't know how I missed that because that is such a nice color and I've definitely never used it before. I'm going to try and mix and match that with this jungle adventure rug. And I guess I'll use these red ones. I don't know if I like the red swatch of this wood color. I want to like it. I really do. But I just, there's something about it that I don't really love. We've got a dresser over there. Um, wallpaper wise, I don't know what to use. <laughs> the wallpaper has probably been the biggest problem for me. Cause I keep thinking like just now I was like, oh, I could use this one. No, <laughs> you can't. Not today. In the kids room, I wanted to use this one. No, you can't. I guess I'm tempted to just use a plain wallpaper again and then try and add like curtains and stuff to get more color. Oh, that looks horrible. So never mind. Not that one. Sorry. <laughs> That's like my favorite curtain, but it did not work in here. Okay, Island Living instead has maybe some good options. Oh, we could also make a gallery wall of like pretty island pictures because we have all these beautiful under the sea ones. I'll try and mix and match those together to get some pretty art on the wall. Oh, I could have been using the fish as artwork. <laughs> I could put the fish somewhere. That is horrible. I'm sorry. You can't just mount Nemo on the wall. Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I've changed my mind. Is that absolutely horrible or is it kind of pretty. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's not as good because the window isn't as easy to see through, but maybe that's okay because it's the bedroom. If you're gonna want privacy anywhere, it would be in here. But also this is kind of supposed to be the nicest room in the house. So I'm feeling kind of conflicted. I'll put a nice big bookshelf over here in the corner and then that might be the bedroom done. I think I struggled with the bedroom the most out of all the rooms so far. Can I size this down and put it inside of that light? Is that okay? It kind of looks bad. You can see it clipping, but 
Maybe that's fine, because I just, I need extra light. I can't do this. It's so dark in here. Wait, we can't even use the base game TVs. I didn't even think about that. I was gonna use this one, because it fits on the table easily, but we can't? Oh no. <laughs> okay, um, that does, that does complicate things. I will say that much. Does maybe this one look okay? If I use, like, this kind of cool leafy swatch on the fake frame TV? Because maybe I could swap it around, and we'll put the TV on this wall. That's not really as good though, is it? Because then we don't have like a clear entryway pathway. Huh. Okay, well that complicates things. <laughs> I wanted to set it on the counter. We could also always use something like this. Like this cabinet kind of fits. It's a little bit smaller, but I maybe could use that cabinet and then, oh, I guess we could get some of these windows again and put them on like either side or something. We could even use them everywhere and just put the TV completely in front of it. I really like this rug from Horse Ranch because it kind of looks like a sunset to me. I don't know if you can tell what I mean by that, but I just, I really think it looks good for things like this. All right, I'm finishing this off with some little tiny living bookshelves for some storage. I put this cute little fishing rod thing right here. And then I think that might be all of the furniture in this room finished? I'm not sure. I think that's the inside of the house finished. Now I just gotta figure out the entire rest of the outside because I haven't put anything out here yet. Step one, I want fairy lights so bad. Do they fit properly? Oh my god, I spaced this exactly right. Okay, good. So I wanted to put fairy lights everywhere out here. I was kind of thinking I would put them like every two tiles, kind of covering the whole back patio. I want to get a literal boat outside too. That was always the goal. I thought I could put a boat here by the dock. Docking point and ladder. Okay, can I just stick that there? I don't really know how this works. Can I just put it there and then not have it be properly attached just for the vibes? Because <laughs> I think that still looks cute. Yeah, you really don't realize it, but there's not that many grills in this game. Most of them are base game. All the ones that I want to use are base game at least. Unless we got like a big fancy one and tried to make it look built in because we could probably do that. Maybe I'll be brave out here and use that table I didn't want to use inside because I think it still does look good. It just wasn't exactly the vibes that I was going for inside with the dark colors. We are gonna need a trash can, so I'll probably put one over here. You know what? That's a really nice patio space. I think that turned out really good. So going back into the front, we want to get a couple cute things out here like some lights. I might even go for a ceiling light up here. I love the idea of a couple chairs on the front porch. Oh, and I just had this thought that we could put some some planter boxes over in the corner, but I can't use the ones I normally do. I guess maybe I could use these little handmade pots. These are the ones that your sims can craft with the handiness skill, but they're from Outdoor Retreat, so we can use those there. So that gives you like one more functional thing in the front porch. And now we have to landscape the whole thing. So step one with that is probably just gonna be to put a whole bunch of island living plants out here. Island living thankfully has a lot of plants to choose from, and that's like the main reason that I picked this pack to focus on building with. Like I was mentioning earlier, I was kind of mostly worried about landscaping with this build. I figured that was probably going to be the hardest part, so I was kind of trying to pick some things that might make it a little bit more doable. I'm trying not to pick too much because I don't want it to be growing too close to the water or anything. We're gonna need a mailbox. Oh, I can't use a base game mailbox either. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Um, maybe how about the wall mailbox? That might be okay if we put it over here. I'll probably have to switch which side these planner boxes are on, but that way they can still get to it. Maybe we could get a really cute little canopy out here in the front yard and I can put some stuff underneath it because this is a good way to fill up some more of the space. Isn't there a picnic table in this pack? Well, there's actually a lot of picnic tables. I could use any of them. This one's from City Living. I kind of like how it's painted like that. I think that's really pretty. And then I guess we just go in and we put some slightly darker sand underneath most of the building. I don't know. It's hard for me to do terrain paint on these like beach lots. I don't really know what they're supposed to be like, so I'm kind of just winging it a little bit right now. I also feel like there should be something up here. I just don't know what to put there. There's like this really cute stained glass window, but I don't know if that matches. All right, you know what? I think this might be done. And actually, I think it turned out really well. This is my no base game finished completed house. Every single item in this is from a various pack. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. I'm sticking it on the gallery for you in case you want to download it. And in fact, it uses all of these packs. Oh my God, that is a lot of them. Almost all of them actually, I would argue. I've thought about doing a build challenge where I try to use at least one item from every single pack. I've done that before, but that was way long ago before we had kits, so it would be a lot harder now. But let me know if we should try something like that, because it might be kind of an interesting challenge. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sorry about the, uh, you know, 
ridiculous amount of packs in this build, but I guess that was the goal. I really do like the kids' bedroom. I think this is my favorite part by far. The kids' bedroom and the kitchen and dining room. This room, I think, actually looks good, like, aside from the fact that it was a challenge. Some of the other rooms, like, in this one, I, I sort of didn't plan ahead enough for the TV situation, so I don't love the living room, but I like the outside. I love the patio. It kind of turned out cute. But with that, I am gonna go, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay? Bye, everybody. We could do this again and have it be completely different because there's so much pack content now. The game is very expensive and there are a lot of options.